Hey there, here's a, a really quick tutorial on how to use the straight stitch on how people are asking me how I do the patches. So it doesn't matter the logo, let's say I have this one here. I basically select this, choose my contour space, and I have it set to straight stitch. So um, like I said it depends on your, your uh, patch size, but let's just do 0.15. What I do is I just say uh, select this and I say apply stitches, and you see how it applies it right there. So that's what that does and same thing apply stitches and it'll follow it if that's in too far I can undo and make this a little smaller apply the stitches and see how it didn't move that far in so it's kind of up to you you can you know 05 apply the stitches and you see it's closer to the edge so that controls how far the contour is off but um, you know personal preference point uh, one two five so just depends on what kind of look you want. But anyways, that's what the, the straight stitch does. The zigzag, uh, I have other videos that show you how it places those. So let's just, let me see if I do it real fast. The zigzag is when I want to make a fake uh, embroidered stitch. Um, that one is controlled by the stitch size and the stitch spacing. So let's just, I don't even know, let's just apply and see what happens here. Whoops. Zigzag. Zigzag. And then let's apply that see what happens. Delete that guy. So see the spacing is too far apart. So what we want to do is we want to change that to like let's go to like 0.28 and see what happens. Oh, too close. Let's go to four. So it's looking better. And anyways, you can tweak that. And if you want the stitches smaller, you make this smaller. If you want them larger, you make this part larger. So let's make it like let's make it a little smaller. Make them really tight. But if you do that, see, you get this little tight looking one. And if you go bigger, of course, the stitches get bigger. So personal preference. But that's how the the macro works.